Hey, what's up everybody? How you guys doing? Kai Dan Worm back again. I hope you guys are feeling good because I'm feeling good. Hey, look, man, this is a fight for your life, a fight for my life. And hey, we're gonna keep fighting, man, because the devil will not stop coming, so we ain't gonna stop fighting. But I promise you, man, it's gonna get better. It's gonna get better. I've seen it get better in my life. Matter of fact, when I started this videos, it was crazy. But now I'm getting stronger because nobody fights forever, but you gotta start fighting. You just can't let the devil hit you and beat you and win every time. You gotta start punching back. You gotta start fighting back. And remember, it's not a physical battle, it's a spiritual battle. We're still in the series of Facing Giants. You can go back and watch the last three videos and get yourself up to speed. But today, we're gonna to be talking about Facing the Giants. The scripture today is gonna to be a little bit long, so just stay with me. So we're gonna be reading from 1 Samuel chapter 17, verses 32 to 39. David said to Saul, let no one lose heart on account of this Philistine. Your servant will go and fight him. Saul replied, you are not able to go out against this Philistine and fight him. You are only a young man and he has been a warrior from his youth. But David said to Saul, your servant has been keeping his father's sheep. When a lion or a bear came and carried off a sheep from the flock, I went after it, struck it and rescued the sheep from its mouth. When it turned on me, I seized it by its head, struck it and killed it. Your servant has killed both the lion and the bear. This uncircumcised Philistine will be like one of them because he has defied the armies of the living God. The Lord who rescued me from the paw of the lion and the paw of the bear will rescue me from the hands of this Philistine. Saul said to David, go and the Lord will be with you. Then Saul dressed David in his own tunic and put a coat of armor on him and a bronze, of, and a bronze helmet on his head. David fastened on his sword over the tunic and tried walking around because he was not used to them. I cannot go in these, he said to Saul, because I'm not used to them. So he took them off. Father God, I thank you for this word. I honor you and I bless your holy name for this word. As I speak, may you be in total control. May every word that comes out of my mouth, may you bless somebody, Lord. May I not speak out of my wisdom, but may you speak through me. In Jesus' name, we pray, amen. Facing the giants. This scripture is just kind of, it's, I know it's kind of long, but it's filled with so much good stuff, man. And I, as I was meditating on this scripture, it was just blessing my life over and over. So I'm gonna point out a few things, man. The first thing I wanna point out in this scripture is verse 32, where David said to Saul, let no one lose heart on account of this Philistine. Your servant will go and fight him. Now this is somebody that everybody is running from, but David is telling them, calm down. I'm gonna go fight this man and I'm gonna defeat him. Now the first thing you gotta remember in facing the giant, you gotta be brave a braveness that comes from God. If this braveness came from David himself, I don't think he would have been that brave. But that type of braveness only comes from God. When those thoughts come in your mind, when those doubts, when those lies, when everything, when they, you're facing that giant in your mind and it's giving you every reason why you're gonna fail, you gotta ask God for the type of braveness and the type of courage that only comes from God. The second point I wanna point out is from verse 33 where Saul said, you are not able to go out against this Philistine and fight him. You are only a young man. Let me tell you something, when you're facing that giant, there's always gonna be a million reasons why you are not good enough, why you're not strong enough, why you're not courageous enough, why you're gonna get defeated by this giant. It's gonna be a million reasons in your head. But you gotta remember, this braveness and this power comes from God, not from you. So the next point I wanna point out comes from verse 34 to 37. In this part of the scripture, we see how David remembered how far and where God had brought him from. 
He told Saul, he said, the God that brought me. He said, I was over there taking care of my father's sheep when a lion and a bear came to attack me. And I killed that lion and I killed that bear and I rescued my sheep. And the same God that brought me from the lion, that helped me kill the lion, helped me kill the bear. It is so important for you to remember how far God has brought you. God has brought us all from something. You got to remember that last time when you were facing something and you almost gave up. That's how I remind myself that I can keep going. I remind myself of the last time we always, the devil is always going to bring something. You're always going to face a new giant. When David remembered how he overcame the bear and the lion, he knew that, hey, this, gi this giant, I'm going to kill it. When that doubt comes in your mind and that fear and whatever, that giant raises up in your mind, you got to remember the last time that some other type of giant or maybe even a similar giant came to your mind and God helped you defeat it. And that same faith will give you the courage that you need to defeat the current giant. The final point I want to point out, man, when God revealed this to me, I was like, whoa. Verse 38 to 39. Do not go fighting the current giant you're facing with new weapons. Use the same weapons that helped you defeat the giant the last time. The warfare we fight with are not carnal. In this part of the scripture, Saul tried to dress David with a new weapon. David had to tell Saul, listen man, I'm not used to all this stuff you're putting on me. So when you're facing this giant now, don't try to gain new weapons. The same God that brought you through last time will bring you through this time. You ain't got to rely on your carnal strength this time. Just because you have a better understanding of this giant now, don't mean you should use carnal wisdom. That's the trick of the devil. When that thought comes in your head, hey, I'm still going to use the name of Jesus. It ain't going to change. The name of Jesus is mighty, y'all. That's the weapon we fight with. Not our mind, not our strength, not our ability, not our friends. No, the name of Jesus. Hey, thank you guys for watching. Man, everything I'm sharing is helping me fight every day. I'm just sharing with you guys, man. So I hope you're blessed. Share these videos with somebody else. Help somebody else overcome the giants that they're facing in their minds every single day. God bless you, Kade and Worm. See you next week. This is a fight for your life. Peace.